on, Cubs fam? We are back for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, please drop a like on this one. Let's get this thing to a thousand likes, actually, because we have brought on the one and only Heinze from Australia to talk about the Grand Arena mistakes we are all making on a daily basis. What's going on, my man? Cubs, absolute superstar, man. Awesome to be back with you again. Super psyched, dude. Great little list we got for you today. Uh, ready to go, man. Let's get into it. You guys got to see Heinze's background, by the way. I'm just, I'm going to go over here and give you guys this background here. I'll turn our webcams off so you can just see this. Well, there's, look at this man. Look at this. Hang on, let me, hang on, hang on. I've got BB-8 hiding behind me there. <laughs> there we go. So I've got it all going on right now. It's, uh, that's how we roll down under, man. Everyone's scared of these uh, kangaroos. So you better get running, people. Look out. They're pretty dangerous stuff. Check out Heinze's YouTube channel, my friends. He is, again, streaming. Uh, you're streaming on Twitch now, right? Uh, so we're doing weekdays on YouTube, but we're doing weekends on Twitch. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, so we've got a bit going on all over the place at the moment. Just uh, trying a few different things, but uh, yeah, Twitch on the weekends is, is okay. working really well for us. Generally Friday nights, Saturday well, nights. Yeah. We'll leave the details down below, but if you want some good laughs from down under, check out Heinze. Uh, I, I, I just love, I, I don't want to suck up to you or anything because you're my guild leader, but I do genuinely <laughs> just love the content that you're making lately so all right let's talk about this so heinze grand arena is a very oops let's uh let's see let's let's put this on the screen um very important area of the game i think where a lot of people are getting most of their enjoyment right now because there's literally nothing else to do in the game and uh we, we all make mistakes in grand arena so i thought it'd be fun to talk because you do really well in grand arena i do pretty well um Let's talk about some big mistakes that we've made and we've seen other people make um, in the game. And so I'm going to bring up number one here. We got eight here. Uh, so number eight on the list, we'll count back up, is not stalling hard enough. And, and Heinze, will you, will you tell me a little bit about what we mean by not stalling enough? Well, quite often, obviously, you, you can, your main concern is making sure that you win the battle, as we know. Yes. Uh, so what, what we find is in a lot of cases, you can actually achieve more battles if you can heal yourself back up again, uh, yes. your team. So if you bring up your protection, bring up your health, if you know you're going to win anyway, and you've got characters in there that are good healers, uh, make sure you use them before you, you finish the last character off and, and try and squeeze as many banners as you can out. You may need them. Uh, people win or lose by one or two banners. The best scenario for something like this is if maybe you're facing bounty hunters, for example, and you're down to just Bosk is left or uh, First Order and only Kylo Ren on Mast is left. Just do some basic attacks or do passive abilities as long as you can to get to those abilities on whatever team you've taken in can heal your characters. Now, similar to this, and I think it's important to realize when you get into the big leagues, it's not just about winning the battles. It's about winning with style, getting as high as yes. banners as possible, being as high health and protection as possible. And so number seven is to it, it, people don't underman when they can. And yes. so to, tell me a little bit about this one, Heinze. What are some scenarios that you've seen people not underman when they maybe could have? Okay, so as I said not long ago, um, quite often... Battles, especially at the top end, um, it, it, it comes down to banners. It can be one or two banners. It can be five banners. It can be ten. Yep. Um, so what we generally recommend is where possible, if you obviously underman a win, so for instance, you go in with one or two characters instead of three in this case, or five normally, uh, if you go for a few less, you can actually pick up extra banners yep. uh, if you knock them off nice and easily. So quite often, uh, a lot of people, for instance, use Darth Malak uh, on his own on a very weak team. Uh, yeah. which will obviously give you maximum banners, uh, but you know you're going to win the battle anyway, and that can be the difference between a win or a loss. So I think it's really, really good to have a couple characters in your back pocket that are ideally going to be solo characters. And the Correct. way that I personally recommend going about this is you usually have a top zone with ships behind it and a bottom zone with characters behind it. Clear the bottom zone before you get cute. All right, yep. then you know all of the characters that are on the board, and then you can decide, can I use my Malik as a solo character? Can I use my Gas as a solo character, etc.? Yeah, I, I use a cheeky term uh, in this case. Uh, quite often, we, we clear the bottom zone, as we call it, lift the skirt and yeah. see what's behind there so skirt. quite often <laughs> quite often obviously yeah you do need to clear that front zone so that you yeah. can obviously plan and strategize uh depending on what's in that back zone uh for the final battles you have there you go all right number six do your math 
Ladies and gentlemen, yes. now this is going to apply to situations where maybe your opponent has gone first and maybe you drop a battle and you're thinking, you know, I'm out of the game. Don't sell yourself too short until you've actually done the math because each zone is, it's a little bit tricky, right? Because you've got bonus points for each zone, etc. And I've had situations before where maybe my opponent full cleared me with one shot on every team, but... Because he did it with so few banners, he lost a lot of characters. I actually had leeway to drop a battle if I was efficient enough in other areas and could still win. And so you just, you really want to do the math and make sure you know where you're at on the board as you're attacking, especially if your opponent has gone first. Other, if, if you let your opponent go first, then you could do this. It, otherwise, just go as high as you can, right? Correct, correct. If you're in this, in, if you're in the the chase scenario, um, basically you can you can still drop a battle. Um, you can still obviously lose a, a battle and then have to go in after that. You can actually still lose one. Your yeah. opponent can still do a full clear without losing one. You can still win uh, because it comes down to the efficiency. That's the trick. Mm. So quite often, certainly check your numbers. Some zones, especially at the back, uh, ships sometimes are worth more or less than the character zones. Uh, so obviously maximize. Uh, which zones to make sure that you get enough points out of it. And yes, yeah, certainly do your calculations as you go. Yep, absolutely. All right, number five, this is gonna be a quick one, but the join button has some pretty important uh, emphasis in this game, right? You need to make sure you're joining at the right time. <laughs> big, big shout out to my man Lego, who actually uh, completely forgot to join both of his accounts he runs oh, uh, for this three, no. <laughs> three v three GAC. So big shout out to my boy Lego out there. Uh, yes, the join button is essential, and not so much that. It's more important, of course, to make sure that you uh, quite often, of course, when you're doing raids and things, or, or obviously there's a bit of a gap between a lot of these events and days, uh, you could be moving mods around for raids and things like that, yeah. which means that characters you need in, in GAC uh, specifically don't have the right mods on them. So guys, make sure you do hit the join button, but make sure your mods are in the right spot first. You can't back yeah. out again like a territory war and go back in and put your mods on it. Once you're in, you're locked in for that set of three. So make sure that you have all your ducks in a row before you hit that button. Kind of goes without saying, but it is a mistake that all of us make. And so it just have it on your radar. All right, let's rush on to number four. And that is rushing your attacks. And I mean that in a couple different ways. I do this a lot where I see a team and I just want to throw a team at it. And not only do I throw a team at it without really thinking about it but i also um attack very quickly and i don't really think through my attacks very much people get on me about this a lot and this this is i'm gonna say probably one of my biggest mistakes um on this what do you think about that heinzy yeah quite often mrs h tells me not to rush it if you know where i'm coming from man <laughs> so uh it's one of those things that yeah slow down take your time think through it uh you have you have 24 hours yeah there's no panic um obviously it's good if you can knock them out when you get a small window to do that but don't rush your attacks, take your time, check out your opponent. If you're not sure if, if you're using the correct counter, you think you are, don't just go in and do it. Ask someone, you, you have your communities. There's plenty of people out there to help you with that. Uh, but certainly don't rush it. Don't get in and just knock it out so that it's done for the day. It could mean a win or a loss. Yeah, and I, I love that you said to ask people about it. I think it's really important to utilize your communities in Grand Arena. That's what I'm doing and what you're doing on yes. your streams, right? I, we're yes. up there and we're talking through our ideas. What are we going to do? What do you guys think about this? Maybe weigh in some other opinions there. All of you can be doing this too in your guild chats, or maybe you've got a couple mentors in the game. And so just be sure whenever you're unsure, take a second and get some advice, get a second opinion. All right, Correct. number three is not utilizing airplane mode for the most intense matchups. Now, I don't do this a lot because I stream my Grand Arenas, but Heinze, you, you're, you're scratching your eyes here. T tell me about airplane mode, or you, you call it flight mode. Okay, we call it flight mode, you call it airplane mode. Doesn't matter what you call it, <laughs> just do it. Okay, simple, start the battle. Blue circle goes around, still don't hit flight mode yet. Wait till the battle starts. When okay. it starts, then go to your device, hit flight mode. Okay, simple. Finish your battle. If you win, <laughs> turn flight mode back off and then register the win. If you don't win, restart the game. Just do a hard restart. Close the game down, reopen it up as, as if you've never gone in before. 
the battle will be dropped, but next time you go in there, the characters you went up against don't already have a head start. Simple as that. Yep, the Terminator loading is a big issue in this game, especially for some notable teams like Night Sisters or Grievous. And those are teams that can beat you fast. And so I think generally my the way I handle this usually, I actually do, I'm guilty of not using airplane mode a lot. I just feel like I'm quick enough on closing the game down. But you're shaking your finger at me because <laughs> sometimes you get a team that beats you. you. You think you're fine. You got three or four characters left and all of a sudden, pow, 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 pow. And you're just deleted yeah. in like yeah. two moves and it happens too fast and so always make sure that on the, especially on those tougher teams that you're doing that airplane mode okay number two this is this is probably the biggest mistake i've made recently and that is to go too heavy on defense now this is a mistake that people make on every version of grand arena we've got but nobody makes it more um than on uh 3v3 Grand Arena yeah. because there's just so many places to place your characters. Um, do, do you agree with that one? Too heavy on defense? Yeah. Pretty common mistake? Yeah. I think because everyone's used to the conventional 5v5 format, you do think of what you can put aside generally. You have a good, a better general concept yeah. of, of what you use in that case. 3v3, as we know, it's a theory crafter's dream. You have to think up different options and ideals and, yeah, and lineups that you would never use. Um, and, and that's why a lot of people love it and a lot of people it drives them mad yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but it does cover both uh, both aspects but the, yeah. the thing is certainly like any battle you go into we always try and make sure that you have enough characters in the tank to at least clear um, and if you clear then whatever you can then clear with or, or get away with put that on defense yep. so if, if you go too light on defense there's no point um, really busting uh, through in attack if you're giving them easy banners on the other side. So you've got to find a good balance, but make sure that you're trying to focus on getting enough to win at least. Very good points. I, and I would say for the average player, it is more intelligent and more effective to go heavier on offense and go for high efficiency and count on your opponent to trip up than the other way around. Um, I will give a caveat, though. I think when you get into the really top heavy echelon of this Grand Arena competition, I think defense becomes a lot more important uh, when you're at the very sure. top end of the game. So I just want to call that out. But for the common man, for most of you, you're just going to want to make sure that you have enough offense to clear. And I think that's a good benchmark to give yourself. Start with, all right, how much do I need to clear uh, confidently? And if I have enough to clear confidently, then what do I have left over that I can put on defense? So that's kind of where you want to think through that. And you want to give yourself a little bit of give because if you drop one battle, you don't want to be absolutely screwed, which is what tends to happen a lot. And so, and then if you, you know, if you're clearing confidently, but you're getting full cleared like it's nothing, then maybe you evaluate where can I shift things up? Uh, but generally what I found is if I save enough offense to get the full clear and I get the full clear without dropping any battles, my opponent tends to screw up somewhere and I get the win. And that's the thing. If look, if, if there's a question mark on on needing a character for a possible use in attack, then hang on to it. Right. Um, it's as simple as that. At the end of the day, make sure that you have enough to get you out of trouble if you do get into trouble within reason, of course. So certainly you want to you want a strong defense. There's no point uh, throwing trash on defense. It's, <laughs> it's not going to help you. Let's be honest. It's going to make it harder for you because they'll just undermine everything and they get maximum banners. Yeah. And you're up against it. So yeah. Um, certainly make sure you've got enough in the tank to attack. Uh, in the tank to attack. But obviously, yeah. If it's question mark, hang on to it just in case. There you go. All right. Great advice. All right. And then the last mistake that people make on a very yes. regular basis is not doing your homework. Now, this kind of goes in line with not rushing in. Uh, to do your attacks, but uh, talk to me about how you do your homework, Heinze. Well, this can be done in the day prior to yeah. attack day, of yeah. course. Uh, there is this crazy thing out there called battle logs. <laughs> yeah. um, everyone knows what they are. A lot of people aren't happy about them. Some are, some are not. Uh, however, they're there. they're there, whether you like it or not. Yep. So for those that aren't aware, uh, swgoh.gg, go to the site and look up your opponent. It's pretty simple. His name is in there. Um, his ally <laughs> code is in there as well. Um, look it up. Yep. And there's this little tab underneath called battle logs or GAC results. Hit that and that'll tell you exactly what the guy's done in the past, your opponent's done in the past. Uh, so you know what he struggles on. You also know what he does well against. 
Yep. And that way you can even work out a strategy around that. But of course, find out what characters he's got as well um, and his mods. Um, it's yep. super important. There is, of course, uh, a, a wonderful bot out there that we've all been using for a long time, DSR yep. bot. Gives you a great matchup, uh, head-to-head lineups and matchups. We use it in, in our Harpoons and Beer stream sessions a lot, um, just to give people an idea on what we're up against. So, guys, they're out there. Do your research. Yep. Be clever, and you've got a better chance of winning. Simple as that. There's so much you can learn on SWGOH.GG about your opponents. I absolutely recommend utilizing that, especially... If, I mean, if you're casual, maybe you're just going to be like, you know, all I want to do is just set my defense and do my thing. That's fine, but if you really want to up your Grand Arena to the next level and get some more Ws than you're getting right now, start there. That's a great way to look at what your opponent is struggling with and place that on defense. And what do you think you're going to see? All right, that can help you plan on what do I need to save for offense? Just assume he's going to place something similar. Maybe he'll shake it up. Maybe he won't. Um, chances are, you know, unless you're... For me, I always think when I check it out, I think, oh, maybe they'll shake it up for me. I don't know, because they're, you know, they're going to be on stream. But for the common man out there, they're probably not going to shake things up. You know, it's, it's probably going to be very similar to what you see um, on the battle log. So, yeah, it, great. Go ahead. Oh, it's, 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 it's just a very, very uh, comprehensive resource. Um, gives you a crazy amount of information. And the best part is it's free. It's free. All right, Heinze, thank you so much for helping me with this list. I hope this was helpful for you guys to give you some ideas of some new things to try in your grand arenas. I know that we don't have a whole lot to talk about in this game right now. And so we're just coming up with subjects right now. But I actually think this is really helpful because... Grand Arena is basically all we've got going on right now, and I'd love to help all of you guys get better at it. Could not agree more. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you were crossing to me. You caught me by surprise. <laughs> no. Oh, man. I th <laughs> Cannot take me anywhere. That Sorry so about that. Funny. I, the, just, the, I, I just the, looked at the you. The kangaroo. And I just, I the kangaroo generator has failed big time on me down here, <laughs> down under people. I'm so sorry. Um, yes, look, GAC, it is, it is really, uh, it's an amazing thing. We we have heaps of content. They're called packs. Uh, we oh, know yeah. that they're incredible. So when you're heaps failing the GAC, get the packs. We should have said that if you're packs. not buying enough packs, you know. Yeah, pack harder, pack harder. Pack yeah, harder. Uh, it's crazy, but uh, no, guys, GAC is is certainly uh, the pinnacle of our game at the moment. Embrace yep. it and enjoy it. Uh, make the most of it and uh, and yeah get those wins get it done make it happen I, I just have to call out that was one of the funniest moments in a video for me because I just look at you I'm like waiting for you to talk and I just I just look at you and you're like it's it's like a, a crush from the it's I it's see like your a crush eyes. from the 80s I, I saw it's like your, a crush yeah. from the 80s I, I saw your <laughs> eyes realize like oh he's waiting for me to talk it was kind of like this oh what <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone thanks again for joining us for this video i hope it was helpful like the video if you did enjoy it and be sure to subscribe to both me and heinzy and as always my brothers don't forget <laughs>